Hello, my name is Sophie Pamerlon, and I'm the Biodiversity Data Engineer for JB France. I'm one of the trainers for this BID online workshop, and I'm the facilitator for Group Green. And today, I'm going to be presenting you the Data Digitization Module. To begin with this Data Digitization Module, I'm going to present you different possible origins of data with some examples and illustrations. So first, one of the type of data that we can work with are a checklist and other taxonomical resources. So what is a checklist or a taxonomical resource? A checklist is a simple list of taxa present in a given area. You can also have some taxon list of reference, uh, which are valid lists of species or taxa that are present in a given area, just like checklist, but with hierarchy and synonyms. And then you also have red lists that can work at national, regional, or local level, and that are lists of taxa present in a given area with a vulnerability status. Sometimes, and that can be the case for you, people work with specimens and natural history collection materials. So what are we talking about when we uh, talk about specimens and other natural history collection materials? So we can talk about herbiome sheets and vegetal materials, such as seeds and foliage, or branches, bark, dried and or preserved fruits. Sometimes you can also have preserved specimens in formal or alcohol or in other liquid states, such as fishes or herpetology collections. And you can also have some mounted specimens, such as birds, mammals, or insect collections. You can also work with fossils and other paleontological materials, such as amber, teeth, and bones, and animal or vegetal samples. So this is important because you may have some samples that you are not aware of, such as DNA, organs, skin, fur, uh, feces. So it can be really useful for you to talk to your colleagues and see what kind of specimens and natural history collection materials you can gather in your institution. Some other kind of origins of data that, that you can have in your institution can be literature. So what are we talking about when we think about literature? Here you can see a few examples of literature documents. So first of all, of course, you can have some published or in press scientific articles that are published by you or your colleagues. Then you can also have some PhD or master, ma master theses. Sorry. So you can have some PhD or master theses and reports and other written documents. Then, of course, you will also have a lot of fieldwork records and notes if you do a lot of fieldwork in your institution. So here you can see a few examples of fieldwork records and notes, such as surveys, assessments, logs, field notes with taxa observed or collected and notes about the protocol or protocols used on the field. So it's really useful in, and interesting for you to uh, record every type of information you can think about when you're on the field, especially about the protocol or protocols used to observe or collect data, and every other information you may think about. So about the weather, about the temperature, the number of individuals you, you saw or collected. Every type of information can be useful and it's interesting to gather this type of information in logs or field notes book. Then if you are part of citizen science project, you can also have some citizen science logs that can be filled and sent by citizen scientists. So if you have those in your laboratory or institution, uh, they can be uh, useful for uh, digitization. Then we can have some data that are from different other origins that are not literature or specimens or taxonomic checklists. So you can see here uh, some other origins of data such as remote sensing data, 
uh, that are uh, taken by GPS or radar or satellite. Uh, some pictures or audio recording from camera traps, paper maps or, or atlas, and prints of satellite pictures, for example, and other supports such as pictures, audio, and video recording, be it on camera trap or di directly by you on the field with a. Uh, a, new, uh, a digital camera. Uh, 